All right, uh, so we've had a couple long questions. Let's go ahead and get a quick hitter in there. Our statement is, in a complex notation, there is a, a clever device for finding the time average of a product. Suppose that we have f r of t is equal to a cosine k dot r minus omega t plus delta a, and uh, g of r of t is equal to b cosine, same thing with delta b. Show that the uh, time average f uh, time average product f of g is equal to one half of the real part of f tilde a uh, star times uh, g tilde star where the star denotes the complex conjugate. All right, cool. So we see here that um, the time average was the integral of one over t, um, integral zero to t of the product. So if we take the product, the ABs come out front. Um, here we use uh, some more trig identities with some indifferences. So to combine them, and then we split up the integrals Notice that the integral of uh, yeah the integral with respect to t of the cosine term the average goes to zero, and then we're left with cosine of delta a minus delta b. Oh, that has no time dependence, so that's just t minus zero. And we see that the t from the t minus zero term cancels with the t from the one over t, and we see that the uh, time average is a over b uh, divided by two cosine delta a minus delta b. So you see we get a one-half there and an AB, which comes from the product, cosine of the difference of the phases. So we're setting up pretty good. Now we just got to verify this. So meanwhile, in the complex notation, what we see here is that we have F tilde A is equal to A e to the I uh, dot product to K and R minus omega T plus uh, delta A. G uh, tilde A is equal to the same thing, but with B and delta B. So... What we need to do is verify that one half real times the product of f and g star is equal to one half ab cosine with the difference in phase. So let's go ahead and take the uh, complex conjugate of g. Um, so instead of positive i, we have negative i. Notice that a and b are just the product. Um, and then we can combine the exponentials. Here, what we need to show is that if we... Uh, divvy up the um the exponent the excuse me the imaginary term from the exponential into everything else a and b can be pulled out which we do that in the next step we have i a or excuse me i k r in blue canceling with the negative i k r we also have the negative i omega t in the red canceling with the positive i omega t and all that's left here is i which is a common factor so we factor that out delta a minus delta b Okay, fair enough. Let's break this exp complex exponential down into sine and cosines. And we see that the uh, since, we all, since we only want the real part, we only take the cosine. And sure enough, we see that the product is equal to AB over 2 cosine with the difference of the phases. So that's, that's a really cool trick, and it definitely will be used again in a couple questions.